EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with the Cleveland Browns. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway from Atlanta. From just inside the 20, a short kick. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And great field position coming up as he gets this just shy of the 45 out of bounds at the 44. Well, that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? Here's Nick Chubb, former prep and collegiate star here in this state of Georgia. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of four on that first play, and it's second down. field throw left side caught by the tight end to Joku that catch good for five it's third down Brandon perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion it would have picked it off okay so they gave up the completion but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Flush to his right. Man open, that's Anthony Schwartz. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing Mayfield. And that is caught at the 10 yard line. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8 yard line. Give him 30 yards there. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run with Chubb. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. Chubb again. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run for Nick Chubb. And the Browns have taken the early lead. No CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4, five between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Chase 
Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Taken at the goal line. Now a hit, now loose football. Still going. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he will score. But that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You forced the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well, and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at their own 21. Now Ryan. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Brent, I think we can see early on they're making a concerted effort to get him the football. So to me, that means they like the matchup that they have. They feel like he's better than the guys that are covering him. Two plays, two passes. We'll see if they go back to that well. To throw again on second down. Ryan. Man open. That's Calvin Ridley. That's right, baby. It's all me. Touchdown, Falcons. Calvin Ridley, 53 yards. And the Falcons draw a bit closer. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Well, well no. If they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Browns drive about to get started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. From the 25 on second down, Mayfield. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Mayfield in this Browns offense staring at a third and long now after the sack. Mayfield. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. two yards in their own territory on fourth down and they're going to go for it they're indeed going it's Mayfield they'll roll him out right 
And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. Not sure I agreed with the decision to go for it, but I definitely agree with his decision to run it. He picked up that big first down. I think he let his head coach off the hook. I, that's what I was just going to say. If there's anybody more happy than the quarterback picking it up, it's the coach that saw him pick it up. Eluding the pressure right. And that is taken in by Njoku. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. First down, Mayfield. Swings this out for Hunt. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. They go play action. Mayfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Anthony Schwartz there to make the grab. And the Browns add six to their lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. A gain of six there on first. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Here's Ryan to throw. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 41-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis in this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down, Ryan complete to Zacchaeus, and he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. His pass caught at the four, and he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Three yards remain for second down. They'll try the left side. It's Patterson. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. 
as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Now fourth and two. Remember, they can still get the first down at the one-yard line, though. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. And this is going to be intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, the decision there, fourth and goal. They go for it, but this ball intercepted in the end zone. Hey, how about some applause for the stand by this defense? Just to force them into a fourth and goal situation was one thing, but then to get the interception, keep them off the scoreboard, that's a job very well done. The Browns drive about to get started, and with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Following the interception, Mayfield. Being chased out left. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Throwing again, Mayfield on second and 10. Flushed out right. Now Mayfield lost the football, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Mayfield looks to throw. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. He completes it to Ridley. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just 